So in this video, I am going to discuss about the design of a bolted connection. In the previous video, I have discussed about the types of joint that is bolted connection that is the slab joint, bar joint. In bar joint, we have two types that is single cover bar joint and double cover bar joint. The question has asked me to design a bolted connection to connect two plates of 200 into 12 mm dimension in a single cover bar joint carrying factor load of 300 kN using 8 mm cover plate and M20 bolt of property class 4.6. So the question has given me following information from the uh, this terms that is M20 bolt of property class 4.6. The very first thing I can write from here is the diameter of the bolt that is 20 and nominal diameter with clearance okay with whole uh, with the fastener clearance it will be 20 plus 2 if the diameter is 16 to 20 i can provide clearance as 2 so 22 mm the other thing fub that is the ultimate strength okay ultimate strength of the bolt is from property class 4.6 it will be 400 newton per mm square fy yield strength is equal to 250 newton per mm square similarly fu will be 400 10 Newton per mm square this is now how to design a bolted connection then the very first thing is to determine the shear strength of the bolt you can go in page number 75 and process by process you can go the very first you have to determine the shear capacity of the bolt that is VDSB is equal to VNSB by gamma MB VSB is the nominal shear capacity of the bolt calculated as follow you can see here the formula and substitute the value VNSB here and dividing it by the gamma MB which is the shape, uh, factor of safety partial safety of factor so we know the value of FUV that is ultimate tensile strength of the bolt okay so 400 divided by under root 3 the value for gamma mb is 1.25 it is uh, taken from the code book a and b it is the area of the threaded portion so for area of threaded portion and n and b number of shear plane intercepting thread you have to understand this so if i design a double a single cover bar join so these are the two plates which has to be connected okay this is the elevation now I'll provide a single cover bar joint and number of bolts will be placed over here and what we see is the number of shear plane intercepting thread is one in this case okay for example if this is the bolt connection design just an example then number of shear plane intercepting threaded portion is one so n and b is equal to one but number of shear plane intercepting shank is zero this portion is not intercepted so the shank portion the number of plane sh intercepting shank, shank is zero hence nsb is equal to zero now provide a and b which is 0 0.78 as i have already said the portion of the thread is reduced by certain value and that becomes 0 0.78 pi d is square diameter is 20 square by 4 into 1 n and b is 1 plus area of ns we can calculate that is pi d square by 4 but nsb is equal to 0 so the whole value will be 0 this value comes to be 45.27 kilo newton this is for a single bolt okay now number of bolts has to be determined number of bolts it is given by dividing the given factor load by the shear strength okay so factor load by design shear strength that is vdsv so factor load is given as 300 and vdsv comes to be 45.27 kN. then the number of bolt can be calculated which is 6.626 which can be nearly taken as 9 nos 
on each plate okay we have to make sure that is it is on each plate then we are providing nine number of bolts what will be the pitch pitch should not be less than 2.5 times of diameter this is the formula for pitch which gives us the value as 50 mm so pitch should not be less or equal should not be less than 50 mm then you can find out the end distance which is given by that it should not be less than 1.5 times the nominal diameter so 1.5 d not 22 it comes to be 33 mm you can nearly take as 40 mm now you have to make sure that this condition is also satisfied of this okay let me draw again this okay so the piece distance here will be this okay in case of a uh, butt joint you will take this side as the given dimension so it is provided as 200 mm okay so the pitch and end distance should be adjusted such that the dimension will be equal to 200 so I'm providing this as 60 mm okay 60 mm so this is 40 end distance end distance is the distance from the last bolt to the edge of the plate and pitch is the distance between two consecutive bolts it is 60 so this is the very first step of the designing of the bolt that is number of bolt has been designed uh, has been calculated and pitch and end distance of the bolted connection is also determined then the second step you can see is the bearing connection uh, bearing capacity of the bolt okay the second step is bearing capacity of the bolt which is given by the formula bearing capacity of bolt VDPB is equal to 2.5 times KB DT FU or FUB Here, KB is a constant, okay, which is taken as a list of the okay. E is the end distance, D naught is the nominal diameter, P is the pitch. FUB is the ultimate tensile stress of the bolt and FU is the ultimate tensile stress of the plate. Then substitute the value which we have calculated for E as 40, P as 60, D naught as 22, FUB 400 and FU as 410. Then you will get this value as 0 0.606, 0 0.6591 as usual and then this is 0 0.975 so kb is taken as list of this so which will be equal to 0 0.606 d is the diameter t is the thickness of the plate now uh, there will be two thicknesses okay so in this case also you have been provided with a 8 mm cover plate and 12 mm connection of the plate okay so this is 12 and this is 8 so the value of t is taken such that it is the smaller among the all thicknesses okay or you can say t as a summation of the thickness of connected plate experiencing bearing stress in the same direction okay if for example if the bolt if the connection was made with a double cover for example if it was a double cover then it will also have the same thickness 8 and this will have also 8 the summation is summation of the cover plate is 16 and the plate to be connected is 12 so we'll have to take t as 12 but now uh, the cover plate is of 8 mm and this is of 12 mm so you will take the smaller value that is 8 and f u or f u b the smaller value among them okay smaller value is here 400 as f u is 410 and f u b is 400 so we'll provide 400 
then substitute the value of all the variables 2.5 0 0.6 0.6 diameter is 20 this uh, thickness will be 8 f you provide as 400 parcel safety of factor is uh, 1.25 for the bolt okay then you will get this value as 77.568 kilonewton this is for a single bolt then total bearing capacity is given by VDP 77.568 multiplied by number of bolts in each plate this comes to be 698.112 kilonewton and this should be greater than 300 kilonewton okay why 300 kilonewton because you have been provided with the factor load of 300 so 300 kilonewton okay design value is okay that so i'll give a short idea about the double butt joint if this is a case of double butt joint if number of bolts is distributed such in such way then what will be the difference okay the difference starts with the n s b which will be one so n s b will be one hence the value of design shear strength will increase okay as the area will of the shank also takes into account during calculation of design shear strength then number of bolts will be reduced that is the another difference pitch and end distance will be the same during calculation of bearing capacity now as i have already said the summation of the thickness of the cover plate is compared with the thickness of the plate to be connected okay then the minimum of these two will be considered while calculating the bearing capacity of the bolt so this will be the difference and we will be able to calculate for the double cover butt joint then what will be the case for a lap joint so for lap joint we know the design connection will be in this way it is similar to that of single cover butt joint it will have some thickness it will have some t1 t2 if all will be same okay nsb here also if you see number of shear plane intercepting thread is one but number of shear uh, plane intercepting shank is zero so it will come as the same that is 45.27 number of bolts will be the same uh, and pitch end distance will be the same bearing capacity now the value is smaller among them it is not a summation it will be a different case the value is smaller among two plates is taken as the value for t and the remaining process is same